let's go get on this airplane, head to Chicago, and then cross the great big pond. Welcome to my world. I am in Indianapolis. I made it through security and I'm headed over to my terminal. Alright, we are boarding this big plane. Headed to Copenhagen right out of Chicago. It's going to be a long flight. It's late. I hope I can catch some Z's and wake up in Europe. Oh my goodness. I've made it through customs. It's made it through there smooth, no troubles. I have a innocent looking face, no drugs, no food, produce. So um, I'm gonna get my bags, get in a taxi, and head to the hotel. It is afternoon here. It's early, early morning at home. So we're gonna see how I adjust. <laughs> in Copenhagen and I am getting ready to go on a boat tour. I'm really excited to be able to see the city from the water view. You know I like the water and I like viewing cities from the water. So this should be um, a great start to my day. I actually freaking missed breakfast. I slept in somehow, some way. And so I hopefully will find somewhere to grab a bite to eat. If not, after the boat tour, I'm gonna hit up one of the hot dog stands. Dude, there's hot dog stands everywhere. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Hop on a boat, go on a tour, see the city of Copenhagen from the water. And it is gloomy, it is dreary, it is rainy. But it's still so exciting. All right, here comes the boat. We're gonna get on it and it's gonna be fun. So today is the day that I um, came to Denmark for. I am speaking at an event, um, teaching entrepreneurs how to build business through social media. I'm really excited. I get an hour of stage time and um, can drop some big nuggets on them in that short amount of time. It's been a great uh, trip so far leading up to this event. I um, get ready to get ready, curl my hair, put some makeup on. I'm going to go for um, a little walk, uh, get some fresh air, get some water. And then I'm going to be taking the um, metro, the train, to um, the area where the event is at. So wish me luck. Last time I did that. Do you guys remember last time? Well, do you remember when I was in San Francisco with my friend Erica? So, Erica and I took the subway from San Francisco uh, out of the city a little ways and we thought we were on the right train, right? Right. Um, Sorry. <laughs> and all of a sudden we're like, oh, we're coming up on our next stop and the lady goes, you've reached the end of the line. And so, it was a failure. So wish me luck.
go time guys headed to um, the venue and I'm really excited um, I think I think I might have a little bit of the jitters like once I get there I get asked a lot do you get nervous before you speak and I yeah a little bit I think if I didn't there'd be something wrong um, but I am more nervous to get on the subway or the train and not know where I'm going. So yeah, I'm, I'm more nervous about that than speaking. Hotel where the event is being held. I've got my get up on, so I'll show it to you shortly. Um, but I am so excited. Um, just the atmosphere in Denmark has been incredible. The people are so kind and happy. And with this gloomy, rainy, cold weather, I have no idea how they manage to pull that off, but they do. And so I am here teaching entrepreneurs, life coaches, business coaches, um, spiritual coaches, how to build their brand and business through social media. It is one of my favorite topics because it's changed my life so much. Social media has and building a brand business through social media. It's created a lot of leverage um, for my time and for freedom and for my family. And so I can't imagine having these skills and this knowledge to that has created this leverage and has created this freedom and not being able to share it and teach it. So I did it. It was awesome. Nailed it. Um, oh my gosh. It was incredible. The people around here are so gracious and kind and it. I just felt like, you know, we were all on the same page, like the same wavelength, same vibe. Like they got what I was talking about. They were picking up what I was throwing down and <sighs> freaking awesome. This city is awesome. The people are awesome. The food's been great. It's a clean city, it's safe. Pretty freaking sweet, dude. Headed to the metro. My time in Copenhagen has came to an end. You guys, this city is amazing. I came to give one hour of my time to an amazing group of entrepreneurs to teach them what I know, to teach them what I'm doing. And I love teaching and I love giving. But I got so much more back than just the satisfaction of um, helping other business owners. I learned about culture. I learned about history. Um, I'm on my way to the metro, so I took uh, the train again. It was just such an incredible experience. The people of Denmark and even the other foreigners that traveled here to hang out in Copenhagen were just incredible. The vibe was amazing. The atmosphere, the weather, it's just been an awesome trip. And so I'm totally grateful for um, being asked to speak with the company. And I also am grateful for all the people that I met and learned from. <laughs> It's been awesome. All right, let's go get on this train and hope that I make it to the airport. <laughs> That's the goal, make it to the airport. I'm Liz Medley and I believe in you. to speak in Copenhagen, I immediately said yes. 
I didn't hesitate. I didn't have to think about it. I just said yes. And that's something that um, I correlate a lot of my success in business to is just saying yes and figuring it out later. And so when I got asked, said yes, and then I immediately Googled, where is Copenhagen? Denmark, okay? Then I Googled, where is Denmark? Denmark has never been on my radar or my list of places to wanting to visit. I didn't know anything about it. Um, but I have to tell you, I was shocked at how much I loved the city of Copenhagen and the people. It was such an incredible trip. And because I said yes to this event, it has opened up so many doors for other speaking and training engagements. And it's like this time last year, I was talking with my strategy coach and she said within the next year, you're going to get a lot of speaking work. I, d I just know it. it's what you need to be doing. And I absolutely love coaching and training and speaking. And so because I said yes, I took this trip by myself. It was, it was, I was nervous. Like once like, oh my gosh, okay, I'm leaving for the airport in a couple hours. I was like, Mark, I'm kind of a little scared. Like, oh, you know, it was just like, it was going to a foreign country by yourself, right? And so once I got there, I immediately felt safe. I felt lucky and it was just totally, totally amazing. But my, the point of this is because I said yes to speaking at this event, it has allowed me to say yes to so many more opportunities because I said yes. It's opened so many more doors and I cannot wait to see how many people um, I'm able to impact from that one decision by teaching them tips and tricks and um, ways to leverage their time and their business through the internet and through social media. Um, I'm in the trenches doing the things day in and day out. And so being able to now teach that and teach it to people in other countries and people from different walks of life, life it's just freaking awesome. Like I am blessed and I am just so excited to see the ripple effect that this creates. It's awesome.